Who is this person? Eddie Murphy. My question of the day is, why are so many of you girls cunts? Like, I thought we hated men, not each other. We're inclusive here on my page. Women are not the only people who give birth. Hey, truckers. Why is it now I have to flash you to get you to honk your horn? When back in the day, all I had to do was this. The biggest joke of all time is that students who are pursuing helping professions have to become literally poor in order to get the education that will allow them to serve their community. Like, why does it cost $100,000 a year for me to get the training I need to spend my life serving children of at-risk populations? My goodness, the fact I even have to say this, but women are objects, we're not objects. Just because I show some skin, what about all those guys with washboard abs on TikTok? Where are you guys shitting on them, huh? What about general laborers? They literally wake up at the ass crack of dawn, they go to work for eight hours, they do the exact same job over and over again every single day, and then they come home and they get their set paycheck at the end of their two weeks. That is selling your body. That is objectifying yourself. This cannot be real, okay? <laughs> I'm going to show you what happens to my lips when I use this. I have like a major allergy, but yeah, I love these so much. Um, I have probably about 15 of these and this is my favorite one. And um, I have like a major allergic reaction. I can't even explain it because it's like so weird, but it always gives me like this extra like plumpiness in my lips and I just don't, I just can't even... It hasn't even been a minute yet. Oh my god, it's burning. Oh my god. I got it. Why do people not understand that you can't be racist to white people? It's it's impossible. Hey, bestie. <laughs> You're wrong. I think it's time for another adult pre-K lesson. What do you think? All right, turn your listening ears on. Zoop, catch a bubble in your mouth. <gasps> Good job. Okay, here's the thing. Having a preference is something like, I'm looking for a partner who likes kayaking or wakes up early in the morning or loves pizza. <laughs> but when your preferences exclude an entire group of marginalized people, that's problematic. Okay, that's not nice. That's not a preference. If you lump all fat people in one group together as though they are not very different individuals, that's fat phobic. Just like lumping all black people in one group and saying, I don't like black people is racist. And lumping all disabled people in one group and saying, I don't think people in wheelchairs are hot is ableist. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I find it so funny how people will write in my comments, you're a pig or send a little pig emoji. Cause last time I checked, men liked bacon. So oink oink mother Men have it way easier with dating. Let me explain why. Men pick who they pursue versus women pick through who pursued. Big difference. Society says that the man pursues the woman. This means that men get to go through an incredibly healthy exercise of looking at all their options, deciding what they want, and then spending their time pursuing that. Versus women are taught to sit back, wait to be pursued, and then from there you decide what you do and do not want from potential suitors coming up to you. This is way more time intensive, and let me paint a picture of why. A man who comes up to you, and you decide there's some things you like, some things you don't know about, you go ahead and give him a chance after getting to know him for two weeks, you decide it's not right for you. That means you just spent two weeks on somebody that you may or may not have picked out of a crowd to begin with. And a lot of us women don't even realize that this is happening because this is just the way things are. So it's incredibly distracting to figure out what you want when you're in the process of this kind of dating. Have you ever wondered why you're so pretty yet men are not chasing after you? Well, here's why. Well, think about it. Have you ever seen a line outside a Gucci store? 
outside a Chanel store. What about Louis V? See, that is exactly what happens. You are a very expensive, exclusive, high-priced item, and not everyone can afford you, so they don't even bother asking for the price. Okay, so this is for all of my single over 30 people. Is anybody else just over this hookup culture? I mean, I get it. I'm, I'm online, I'm trying all these things, but like, what happened to romance? What happened to, you know, a little bit of chivalry? Whatever happened to all of the nice things that men used to do instead of everyone asking us, what are you doing? Can I come through? Is there any real men out there at all? I don't know, help me out. I am so sick of the normalization of the phrase, can't make a wife out of a hoe. Funny that there's no equivalent about men. So I figured let's make some. Can't make a husband out of a Save yourself till marriage. Your husband will thank you for that. It might be hard. Imagine being so insecure with yourself that you need to tell other women how to treat themselves. Girl, you could have your bullies, but why do you feel the need to push them on to everyone else that's really, really weak? You could be a virgin that's super chill with me. In reality, that just means there's more dick for me. I just think it's really funny that misogynists always want to talk about the 1950s housewife archetype in order to insult or like put women in their place, but they never want to talk about the gender norms for men in the 1950s. Housewives only existed because men were expected to be working men, which meant they got up every day at 8 a.m., put on a suit, and went off to work and didn't see their family until 5 p.m. And they had to do this because they were expected to be the sole provider for five-person families, which was obviously more manageable in the 1950s, but bear with me. Not only that, but when it came to dating, the pursuit was 100% the man's responsibility. Which meant the guy had to initiate every day and you had to take a girl out at least four or five times before calling her your girlfriend. Definitely weren't getting laid. And then you had to get married before you were like 23. All financial responsibility fell on the man. So unless you want to pay for every date without having sex until marriage and then buy me a house and then work every single day of your life to pay for my lifestyle and children that you never get to see, don't tell me I belong in the kitchen just been yelling in my car for 30 minutes because fucking parenting is hard it's hard because they're little mirrors if if i want my son to be a better person or to grow up and just be a good fucking human You know when you tell your boyfriend to leave, but you don't mean it, <laughs> and then he actually leaves.